when the milk is the end of body. Eh, eh, Baba Tunde, your jingle has gone viral. <laughs> Banner Boy was in the country this past weekend and it was a big turn up. Angeli, Angelina, you cool my temperature. Except from that guy that found out they had where the Banner Boy has got kicks like Van Damme. <laughs> so I'm sure most of us have seen this uh, video circulating on social media where we see Banner Boy on stage kicking one of his fans. Now people went back and forth on the internet until the news got to Banner Boy and he responded by saying he loves his fans very much. He appreciates the love and support. However, that guy tried to rope him on stage more than 10 times. Therefore, he had no option but to kick him. Therefore, we've seen people like b -Flow, our very own artist saying this is not right why should we allow international artists to treat us like that that does not matter we want to know what your thoughts are but again here's the side of the story that the media is not showing there's this video surfacing on social media where we see banner boy spotting a girl from the crowd lifting her up and bringing her on stage handing her over to management because she was wasted she could not handle herself that's something good we want to know what your thoughts are keep those comments coming Sad news for the hip hop culture as we have lost Nepsi Hasso, who happens to be Lauren London's husband. B12 in the valley, black on black, nigga. SA in the valley, do my tax, nigga. The 33-year-old rapper was shot outside his store in Los Angeles where he was transferred to the hospital and pronounced dead. Now, Nepsi has also worked with multiple artists. Talk about the likes of Drake, Rihanna, Mick Mill, YG, just to mention a few. Now, besides the rap, people have testified to say he was a good person. He gave back to the community. He gave back to people who could not afford a daily living. It's very sad and we send our heartfelt condolences to the family and friends. In case you know more concerning this issue guys, feel free to drop your comments. Xenophobic attacks are back in South Africa and this time they're claiming to say foreigners are going to their land to rape their women, claim their jobs and also importing drugs. It turns out that Julius Malema is one of the few people advocating for peace on behalf of the, our loved ones living in South Africa. Now, they also added on to say these foreigners are going to their country to carry out services without permit. Either way, do you think that's the right way to handle situations? Let's put our brothers in our prayers. If you've got relatives, check out for them. This has been Transplash. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Yes, I can follow you at home too. <laughs> See you next time on Transplash.